So back in my Chicago days in the uh, early 70s, I had not been working that much and I wanted to keep shooting and keep my, uh, my chops up as it were. And uh, so uh, discussing it with my wife, I went out and I, uh, she said, go buy a camera. So I bought a Beaulieu Super 8. It was a terrific camera and it had the ability for, to shoot speeds that uh, were unusual, like I could go down to six frames a second. So that, that was uh, kind of what I did, but I also bought a Kodak projector that could, sh could uh, uh, play back at six frames a second. It was a motion analysis projector. It was kind of an industrial product that, that Kodak had. So I was, um, we had tickets to uh, a Frank Zappa concert. And I realized that I didn't, uh, I didn't have enough film. So I took the one roll of film I had, I had 25 feet of, uh, of ectochrome, one cartridge. And um, I figured this is the way I can do the whole concert. And we had like second row center seats. So it was a, a, a shame if I wouldn't have shot it, it would have been a real missed experience. And uh, so I went to the concert, I turned the camera to six frames a second. I had enough film at six frames a second to shoot the entire concert. And I was doing things like turning the camera upside down, getting very creative, and uh, it, was, uh, it was a wonderful experience at that concert. But then I got home, I processed the film, I had the film processed, got the film back, and I got the projector out, and I projected it at six frames a second. And what I found out was you could put any Frank Zappa al album on and play it and play the six frames a second and it would sync up like you were it was amazing so that was that was a, a wonderful experience I had with Super 8 but I saw that that look at six frames a second and and and, and uh, projecting at six frames a second and it had a quality about it that I thought about how could I do that in 35 millimeter and I was doing a short that actually won the uh, film festival at the Atlanta Film Festival for Best Short uh, in 1972. And I wanted to do the end credits like that. So we had to design a way that was very, very complicated of duplicating that on a regular 35 millimeter projection film. And it, 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 uh, it was a crazy formula of freeze framing every third frame for eight frames and overlapping dissolve it was a very complicated visual effect but it gave quality the same quality a few years later you were able to do that very easily in video but uh, uh, but the super 8 was the one that, that gave me the the ability to experiment on a way that in a way that I was never able to before so I credit super 8 with uh, really helping my career